All right, guys, this morning uh, when the mailman came, this is what I had waiting for me. A lot of you guys had pointed this out on eBay. There's a dealer in Bulgaria that was selling these. And again, in the picture, it looked a lot bigger, but you got what you got. And what we don't have are keys. I got a brand new box. The envelope was completely sealed, undamaged, from, all the way from Bulgaria. But I don't know if you got to order keys separately in Bulgaria or, you know, maybe he's going to hold them hostage. I really don't know, but... Hopefully we don't need any stinking keys. Um, typical shutter lock. You can see that it, it is a spring-loaded core and it is free. Um, on the top, you can see where they inserted the retainer pin to prevent the shackle from coming all the way out. And on this side, it looks like there's a little aluminum LOB plate that's been epoxied. So that is how they get all the, the locking mechanism in from, from this end, it looks like. so. Anyway, it is a Yale-style keyway, but very, very small. No other openings in here. There is a pin. I have no idea what that probably holds the, the uh, core in, or at least the locking mechanism in. Um, tiny, tiny little keyway. It is a Yale style. So let's just go ahead. Because of the keyway, the way it's arranged, I'm going to use bottom of the keyway. My first tendency would be to try to shim it, but... If you take a look right there, you can see that there's a lip right there. And of course, that extends all the way around the entire circumference of the core. So I'm not going to be able to slide a shim in right there and shim this thing. But hopefully it doesn't get that technical, in this LOB. Um, I'm going to try probably a medium one. Let me zoom in. I'm going to hold this one in my hand. Not even going to bother to put him in a vise. So I'm going to take... Maybe not that one. Now, what's happening is exactly what you don't want to happen. And when you slide it in, it actually wedges against the bottom of the keyway. So you can tell because he doesn't move around. He's really wedged in there. I definitely don't want that one. So let's try this guy. This is the thin tensioner. And that's kind of what you do want. Oop, I keep forgetting I'm zoomed in. Um, when it turns, it still remains free, and it's wedging up against the brass core on both sides. So you can see it moving just a little bit. That's exactly what you want. So we'll try that. Um, let's see if we can find a pick small enough. I'm going to use this little hybrid from Sparrows. And I think he'll fit. Yeah. All right, so slide him in there. Light tension. I felt five, pin 5. I actually got a bird trying to come through the window here on the lock lab. It's a noise you hear in the background. Maybe he heard, you know, my reputation. He's after me. Come on. There we go. Pin four was, come out of there. Pin three is very low cut. There we go, and the, the core just popped right out of their spring tension. Pretty cool. All right, um, no security pins. So let's go ahead and see if this works. See if it locks while it, so it's not key retaining. All right, let's try one more thing while we're here. I'm going to use the same tensioner, so that worked out so well. And I'm going to use the same pick. No security pins, so this oftentimes will work for you. Uh, slider all the way in, then apply light tension. Get it aligned with the pins first. All right, then apply light tension, and then just drag it out. And when you don't have security pins, like some of the simpler locks, particularly master lock, that's faster sometimes than picking it. Anyway, there you go, the LOB. This is the KT02 Znalowa. I know, I know. Uh, manufactured in Poland, but bought from a guy in Bulgaria. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Thanks for recommending this. I'm always looking for new locks to review. Appreciate the input. Stay safe. Stay legal.